Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Peter, all the way from South Africa. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning savvy, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Your love and your presence is highly appreciated over here. So it is um, days after Miss South Africa and um, I find it so sweet that I st I'm, I'm still yet to talk about what happened um, during the show and all of those things. So today we're going to analyze the swimsuit, which is one of um, my favorite segments, not because they um, walk around half naked, but because it shows you how confident the girls are in front of their hundreds of thousands of people that were watching. So... Um, I'm not sure what is going on with my actual monitor here. It is giving problems. But anyway, um, I'm going to be reacting to each and every girl. I'm going to be saying my views. And at the end of this segment, I will tell you who do I think was fantastic on this show. Okay? Please comment down below as well and let me know who was your favorite um, swimsuit performance for Miss South Africa 2022. So, without further ado, let's get into today's video. So, it's time for swimwear, as I said. So, I'll try to stop the video in between, you know, like, I'll st stop the video and because I'm not watching this live, so it's after the show, obviously. So another thing that I wanted to tell you guys, I'm not going to be using the music that was used on the show because of copyright nonsense, so yeah. Firstly, I just want to say the way the entrance was done, the way that um, they lift up the whatever that is and the girls were posing and stuff like that, they looked like a picture. It, it, it felt so good, it felt so beautiful and it just showed you how much these girls were enjoying the show. First one was Luyanda. Firstly, can we say Luyanda is one of the most beautiful candidates we have ever had on Miss South Africa this year. She's just beautiful. Like, you, you cannot critique her beauty. Okay, I liked her transitions. Um, they were not re they were not really hundred percent polished, but um, for someone, for example, for someone who is not a page and follower, they wouldn't see that. But um, I felt like they were on point, even though they were not hundred percent polished. They were on point. She gave me face. She gave me um, walk. She gave me legs. She gave me etiquette. That's what I wanted to see from her and I cannot say it over I can say it over and over that this is this this performance was just really good for me. It was not pushed and forced. Gia is the second one. Let me tell you, Kia is <laughs> lovely. Firstly, her face was just 
giving me everything that I wanted to see on this stage. Her attitude, her walk, how she was walking for that swimsuit competition was just beyond me. It was beyond me. And how she just left the stage, I felt like, drop the mic, girl, drop the mic. So another one is Louvay. She's not doing too much. Louvay, I love her. She did not try to be somebody else. She was herself. You know what? These girls, we have we've spent so long with them. Um, like we've we know how they are, how they react. And Louvay is one of those girls that were just cool and collected, and she was just doing her own thing. And um, I think it worked to her advantage as well, not to try to be someone else. I feel like that that walk and the turns and everything was just safe. But it is Louvain. She's like that. Um, it was too safe. Like, it was safe. It was not, like, out of this world. I mean, when it comes to swimwear, I feel like you must just be, like, out of this world. Like, you are in the pool or at um, the sea, the, the beachfront and it's nice, it's sunny, it's beautiful, you're just happy, you're running around or you're just walking with that etiquette and you're giving me transitions that I've never seen before. That's what I'm trying to say. Otherwise, the swimsuit itself, suit, it was beautiful for her. And the winner of Miss South Africa, Davi. Davi was also safe, in my own opinion. Her moves were so calculated. She didn't do much. And um, her turns, her transitions were also very calculated. Very safe. It was a very safe performance. But obviously it did do well for her, for her scores or whatever. I don't know how much do they score these segments on Miss South Africa, like the swimwear and the, the, the evening gown. But it did work for in her favor because she won Miss South Africa. But it was too safe for me, for the winner. I want, I don't want safe. I, I, I want someone who's like Luyanda, for example. She didn't do safe. She just went and... Kia and Luyanda, they, they just went and ravished that, that floor. They just mopped that floor. But anyway, let's go ahead and watch still. What I didn't like about um, this swimwear, I didn't like this white thing that is going on here. I just... It, it, no, it was just not doing it for me. Um, Itumele Mbarake is one of the beautiful faces. The African dark chocolate face that I wanted. I didn't want any distraction. That swimwear was so destructive. That cloth, I don't know, the designer, I mean, Tando, what was going on with that part here? What is happening? So clumsy. That turn, that transition was very, very good, especially coming from Itu. Itu was not a patent person, but that is what I call someone who listens, someone who practices, and someone who's giving us what she learned before. Luyanda. I loved Luyanda. I love her face. I love her happy face. I love her, her, her white smile. It's her selling point. And um, that slide walking, I don't know. It was just okay, and um, her transitions also were just safe. 
Um, but uh, I will have to give it to her. That smile just hypnotizes you. You don't care about anything else that she's doing. That smile has got powers. Too much powers that I cannot concentrate on the technique aspects of things. And assume it was beautiful. Pearl's face is beautiful. Pearl is beautiful and she's got a very beautiful African body. Um, but I don't think she looked a bit, she didn't look like she was um, comfortable for me. She looked like she was not comfortable at all, um, but she looked very beautiful. I didn't like her style, her hairstyle, but I loved her performance. Her performance was okay. Hemsen's walk has improved so much and um, but her transitions are so stiff and those turns are just too stiff like give me something I think um, unfortunately I heard that she doesn't want to come back for Miss South Africa maybe she changes her mind two years later um, I would like her to give me something like she needs to train but I would have to give it to her that she has she has improved so much it's one of those candidates that she just changed completely from the person that we saw from the beginning of this competition she has improved a lot guys please give it to her she has improved and i'm so proud of her Lebuchan is giving. Let's talk about Lebuchan. Let's talk about Lebuchan. Lebuchan is one of those candidates that I kicked her out of my top five. And when I saw her coming out with that attitude and that walk and that performance and that those clean polished turns, and I was like what did i do to myself to everybody what did i do to my friends on this channel because this is what we wanted to see from her from the beginning and she gave it to us she was so flawless i loved i loved that performance i love the fact that she was so playful with all this draping or this um wings or whatever that was it it looked like i was watching victoria's secrets like honestly guys Let's move on. Anazad. Anazad's performance was absolutely not my cup of tea at all. It, it she looked like she was tired and uh, it didn't, I cannot really explain it it was it lacked energy she was beautiful she was extremely beautiful she's extremely beautiful but that performance was just not on for me the turns were just yeah like that's how it felt like she was like oh let me just get done that's my take and i didn't like that performance at all at all guys and I think it was about it. Beautiful. Okay, let me tell you my top three best performers on this segment. My top three, number, number three would was rather. <laughs> number three, I'll give it to I am um, Ayanda Tabete. Number two, I'll give it to 
I'm Kia and my number one is Luyanda Zuma. Those three were the best. Luyanda Zuma had, had no competition at all, but um, I would have to give it to the two as well because I was very impressed. Um, but Luyanda, Luyanda takes this one. She was the best for this segment. And thank you so much for watching till this far. If you are not subscribed, guys, please do subscribe. And don't forget to actually comment down below and let me know who are your top three for this segment or just let me know who is the winner of this segment according to you. Okay? And make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on my next video. Actually, the next video that will be following this one is the evening gown segment. So don't miss out on that. Mwah.